Hello, double nine ball is my new favorite game, and soon, soon you will see why. And there's a lot of strategy involved here, uh, very complex patterns. So here I will pick this one ball first, and then that one ball, and then have position on that two ball, and then later that two ball, okay? And then after I make this two ball, I can decide if I go, if I shoot that three ball or that three ball first, okay? And then the four seven combination is easy. I play position at the same time for this four ball in the side, okay? And now we will decide the pattern. Uh, if we make this three ball first, how do we get position for that three ball? We need, we will need to be here, but the nine is in the way here. This is the angle we want on the three ball to come two rails for the next three. But we don't, these balls are in the way, so we can't do that. So I will, I will need to pick uh, that three ball first. I guess this, this angle on the, the next three ball. Okay, so let's do that. Now I will draw back the cue ball a short distance, draw it back a little bit, there, and now we have a clear area here in the center of the table, easy position. Now I will put a position to stop the cue ball maybe in front of the ford there. So I, I want to make the, the, this combination first. So. Yeah, I will play position into this large area. Maybe I have a good shot on that four ball in the corner or a good shot for the combination. So I will play into this large area, center of the table, okay? Yeah, center of the table. Let's see what four ball is easiest. Yeah. Maybe this four ball. But the, we, later we need to play position for the for the four ball after we make the combination. So if we if we choose this combination last, position for the four ball will be tougher. So I'll pick this combination first, okay? I will make the combination first because the four is easy in the side. So I will do that. Now the position for the four and the other four. We went too too far there. When yeah we, we still have a shot but position for the next four ball is quite difficult there, so yeah, should we make this four ball first? Mm, that's a tough question. This is tough. Yeah, we will go between the eight and the nine there. And play position for that four ball later. Okay, so I will do that. Uh, top spin and left spin. Between those, perfect. Couldn't, couldn't have gone any better. So now I'll use the jaw and outside spin to make the whoop. What happened there? Yeah, I still made it. So I think there was some dirt, dirt on the table. So now I will use, uh, I will make this six combination first and then soft roll it forwards for the other six ball combination because I want to shoot the combinations, combinations soft so I play position I want the cuboid to stop somewhere here on that uh, combination so first I will make that five ball I play position for that five ball I want to be straight in on that five ball there so I use uh, top spin and inside spin whoops danger scratch there but we are okay so I will draw it back a little bit. I want to be straight on straight in on the six nine combination. And now this combination I want to shoot soft to maximize making the ball shoot soft. Soft spin. Soft. Oh, oh. And we missed it. We missed it. That I need to do that again. I need to do that again. I was worried of, of getting snooker behind the sixth ball later because 
I I hit that uh, little uh, I, a little thinner than normally. So I will choose this a little thicker now. Yeah, like that. So no problem. No, uh, we are not snooker behind that six ball. So now we can make a six in the side. I will I will choose the six in the side now because this. How do we get position for that, that six ball if we are if we shoot that combination? Well, maybe. Yeah, uh, getting position for this the six ball. This six ball will be easy because because it is straight in. So I will do that. I'm jacked up. So yeah, position for this six ball was easy. And now position for the next six ball is also easy. Just roll it up here. I want this angle on the six. Okay. So I will do that. That angle is good. Good angle for the seven. So. <laughs> This is just st standard nine ball from now on, okay? Now I draw it uh, back here. Uh, I use right spin because in, if I hit the seven ball, it will throw throw the cue ball out of the way so it, you don't get stuck on the seven ball. So I use outside spin. You see, you, see, you, saw, you saw that cue ball? Went away from the seven after it hit the seven. Okay. Now I uh, this I can shoot this soft stop somewhere here with the cue ball, but this is not a good place. I rather shoot harder and go one way and back up to stop on the other side of the eight. No, we didn't go far enough. Oh no. Okay, so we have a tough shot now. We can either go uh, three rails around the nine or we can hit the nine even if we hit the nine thin the nine will go there and the cue ball will go there we have a shot i i like to play soft rolls i like that so i will i will do that yes i will hit the nine thin okay throw it to the left with outside spin throw it to the le to the left with outside spin like that and that is what i like that is how I like how I like to play the shots. Okay, so now we have won the game. If we chose the other path with the eight ball, it would have been more risky because if you shoot hard with inside spin, it is very difficult. But with outside spin, it is easy. So I will make the last nine ball, and there it is, uh, the end of the rack of double nine ball. And uh, subscribe to my channel and see more of these videos. Check out my Patreon, link is below, click on it, click on the link and uh, you will see early access to all these instructional videos, weeks before, the, before other players see them, maybe, maybe even months before other players see them, because I, I make so many, many instructional videos, okay, so that's the end of my video, goodbye.